Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be taking a look at the more crops add-on. Discover better crops uh, where you uh, grow crops uh, to harvest, diamonds, neverite and many uh, more unique items of ores and stuff. So uh, this, is, this is like kind of in a similar vein to the like ore beetles, the, uh, the golden pets add-on and the, the uh, the uh, Feed the Bees add-on, that's what it was called. Where it'll add a new way of like uh, collecting diamonds and all that. So let's, so let's see how well it does in that. Yeah. Should have probably had a quick drink before I start, but anyway. Um, so I wonder how this all... Uh, how this will compare to the others. So. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, this is one of the newest add-ons uh, uh, that was added in the uh, latest uh, drop uh, um, for this, you know, this week. Uh, anyway, um... My inventory is still a bit of a mess uh, from last review. Uh, put the dime. Well, actually, uh, I can just. I should be able to just hit this without shifting. There we go. Oh, emeralds. There we go. Uh, itchy nose. Oh, Oh, there it is. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Anyway, um, I should have sorted my inventory out before starting the video, but I completely forgot there was this bad of a mess. Hold on, I'm just gonna start dumping things in chests and then maybe before another video I'll get it all sorted out. Yeah, let's st uh, start looking into these uh, crops add on. More crops by Diamond Studios. Well, welcome to the uh, More Crops add on. New seeds and crops. Fertilizer, fertilized soil, farm capsules. Check the recipe book in the crafting table for all the new recipes. Seeds. Craftable with wheat seeds surrounded by four of the corresponding item in a plus shape. Pla plantable on either farmland, sand, or water, mud, soul sand, or endstone. Uh, probably depending on what type of seed it is. Uh, I don't know why it has to be wheat seeds. I don't know why they couldn't just make it so you could use any kind of seeds. But, oh well. Uh, so fertilizer is craftable with two bone meal and two rotten flesh. Uh, fully grows new crops, so two bone meal and two rotten flesh, so, uh, I only have eight left, so two, so I need half a stack of bone meal, there we go. And we have fertilizer. And you get two. Well. Oh. Hold on. I may have miscounted. It said two bone meal and two fertilizer. So hold on, I have a ton of bone meal here. Hold on. Yeah, two bone meal, two fatal. How did I miss? Uh, yeah, no, I got half. Of... Oh, what I'm. I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. Apparently, you can't do basic maths. But yeah, got a stack of fertilizer. And an itchy news. <laughs> so, and it doesn't remember your place, of course. Right, so, and guess what's crops. Alright. Uh, then you've got fertilized soil, crackable with a dirt block surrounded by eight fertilizer. 
rows of the uh, new crops faster. So there should just be dirt around here somewhere, I suppose. I don't know where. Oh, there it is. So I've got a stack of dirt. That'll allow me to make not fake dirt. Where is it? Oh. So there was dirt surrounded by fertilizer. You have to make fertilized soil, but it's not here for some reason. Weird. Like I've hit eight of them. Yeah, it's quite expensive. So you only get one. Like it would be better, I think, if they made it so that you get more than just one out of it. All right, right. There is a lot of like bone meal and rotten flesh to go into just making one of these. Anyway. So we got this now and I'm guessing this is going to be used to make the farm capsules. Uh, farm capsules. Three variants. Basic, advanced and ultimate. Craftable with fertilized soil. Planks, glass, and either iron, ingots, gold, ingots, or diamonds. Needs water from a bucket and the seeds. Puts harvest items in its inventory. Okay, so we're going to need three glass, two ingots, and two planks. So I'll just get a stack of planks, a stack of glass, and two iron ingots. And we've got a farm capsule. So I guess you place this down. Whoa! Oh yeah, I think I know what this is. Uh, so yeah, you got farm capsule. So let me just give at the farm capsule spawn egg. Give myself two more so I can get one of each. Oh wait, no, that's the advanced one. Damn it. I want the basic one. Um capsule spawn egg two. Alright, so now to upgrade this to the Advanced form, you need eight gold ingots. I need sixteen. Oh, wait, I was. Oh, well. Uh, let's just make two of these. And I'll put the rest of these back. And then the next farm capsule is the ultimate farm capsule, which is eight diamonds. You do it, right. One, one more. Here we go. And then you have the ultimate one. So I assume what these do is you place them down like this. I don't know why their facing is not 100% reliable, but they're there. So I guess what you do is you put your seeds in there and these will automatically grow them and harvest them for you. So uh, I don't have any wheat seeds, do I? Well, I can just... You up here. Smash one of these. Yeah, let me in. There we go. And I'll just be it. Make 
pick myself a bunch of seeds. Um, I'm sure there's some rubbish here I can chuck in. Uh, yes, I can do it fast. Oh, uh, there we go. Just chuck them in. There we go, 41 seeds. Right, so... Seed... So, I don't want to compress seed books. So we've got seeds, which apparently... Oh yeah, they're crafted with that. They got the basic seeds because they're the bear. But we got Earth Slime Seeds. Oh, that's Tinker's Construct Tinkers. Thank you, Tinkers, for letting me know that's from there. They got Amethyst Shard Seeds, which is four blocks of Amethyst. Which I should have Amethyst up here. Yep, they're right there. Oh. One, two, three, four. Then we can make the Amethyst Shard Seeds. We put them in there. Now they're growing, and I'm guessing like this one is uh, slower than this one, this one's slower than this one. So next up is the blaze powder seeds, which is for blaze rods. So you're gonna get, yeah, so you're gonna get like, bla obviously you're gonna get like Brit blaze powder from those seeds. So I'll just, uh, well do. Can this just go anywhere and then I can just like plant it? If I just put that there, uh, uh, hold on, let me get four blades wads. Ah, do I, wait, no, they, I definitely have blades wads somewhere. Are they over here with the mob? Yes, they are. So, one, two, three, four. You make blaze powder seeds. Let's get give at P who Diamond Who. So you can't hoe it. So yeah, you just plant them there like that. So I'm guessing this only works with the uh with the new seeds. Would be cool if you could um if it if they made this work with the vanilla seeds as well. And then it would and it would basically just uh, Speed up their growth. Does regular bone meal work on these, or do I have to use the super bone meal, which is super expensive? Oh no, I can just use regular bone meal. And as you can see, it's grown up. You break it, you get to some seed, three seeds, and the double E's powder. Is this one grown up yet? No. Can I bone meal this one? No, you can't bone me this in there, so you're just uh, going to have to wait for that to grow. Next up is the bone seeds, which is four bone blocks. Which is a bit expensive, but i got bone blocks here. One, two, three, four. And you got bone seeds. You plant them. You grow them up. And they give you a bone and some bone seeds. Then you have the coal seeds, which is four blocks of coal. One, two, three, four. Yes, the coal seeds. And you bone meal that up, smash them up. And you get coal and some CT. And you got copper nuggets. See, so that's four copper blocks. One, two, three, four. Now, I think I'm going to have a little bit of criticism here, but yeah, you grow, you platinum, you grow it up, 
You smash it, and yeah, you get copper nuggets. Now, I think it would be better instead of nuggets, it drops just the raw ore itself. Well, I guess I, I figured that would be too rare. People like copper is like the most uh, like easily obtainable like metal. Like it is very abundant, so I don't think it's too OP to make that drop just raw copper. Uh, then you got the diamond seed, which is four blocks of diamonds. One, two, three, four. You get diamond seeds, you bone meal them up, you smash them and you get a diamond. Obviously you can just take the seeds and put them in here, and then they grow, they'll grow up and they don't deposit themselves in there automatically. Is that, this is a bit slow because it's not even produced one yet. And then we have emerald seeds, which is four blocks of emeralds. And craft them up into seeds. If I only lift up. So all the like plants seem to just like be copy pasted and with like color changes. And the pill seeds. Let's see if this is runs different. Uh, ender pills. Where are ender pills? Ender pills, ender pills, ender pills. Ah, oh, there they are. Don't know why I have them all the way over here. Anyway, and you get ender pill seeds. Oh, apparently, these can be play planted on it. So, I should have some endstone up here. Yeah, endstone. Not a lot, but I have some. So, can these only be planted on endstone? Yep. Yeah. Okay, these will keep me back. That's cool. And you get an ender pearl out of it. And then next up is the experience seeds, which is four bottles of enchanting, which I don't think I have any of them, do I? Hmm. Nope. Let's just give at p dot four. There we go. And you get experience seeds. Plant them on there, you bone wheel them up. It looks like little XP, but XP orbs. And you get some XP from it. I don't know why we planted it. Then you and the... Next up is gas tier seeds for gas tiers around the... One of them, where's my gas tier? They're just above the ender pearls. I only have three gas tiers, so I'm going to take this. Also, if you want to know what this is from, it's from the uh, Alchemy add-on. I did a review of it. it go watch the review. I, this is a really cool add-on, in my opinion. So, just going to get this. There we go. And get some gas tiers, and I'll just put the last gas tier back. You plant it, you bone meal it, you smash it, and you get a gas tier and some seeds back. Then we have glowstone dust, it's for glowstone blocks. And you get the seeds, you plant the seeds, you bone meal the seeds. I'm surprised this can't uh, be only grown on like Neverwrack. 
And you get some blue stone. Just stay out of it. That's enough to make a block. But you probably probably varied. Um and fortune probably works on them as well. Got gold nugget seeds, which is four gold blocks. One, two, three, four. Gold nugget seeds. Boom, me it up. Hmm, I did get a single ingot out of that, so I don't know. Yeah, that seems to be fine. Anyway, I got gunpowder seeds, which is for TNT. I do have TNT actually. One, two, three, four. Turn them into gunpowder seeds. Plant them, you bone meal them. And you got some, and you get some uh, gunpowder out of it. Uh, gunpowder, so there's honeycomb seeds, which is... Why is it honey block for honeycomb seeds? Well, I don't have any honey, so give that P hun. I need block four. Make the honeycomb seeds, you plant them, you boom, you them. These look a bit different at least, it's nice. And you get, hon why do you get honey, should be honeycomb blocks, not honey blocks. That. I don't need the, uh, the planks or the glass anymore, so I'm going to put them away. Them there, them there. And then you have iron nugget seeds, which is four iron blocks. I have a iron blocks from my iron golden farm. Now, I don't know about the iron and gold seeds only giving you iron nugget seeds, because Gold I can kind of see because it's, uh, the, again, these seeds is a lot easier than setting up a gold farm because a gold farm requires, like, nether portals and all that. So I guess that's fine for gold. But iron, I think it iron could also do with just being uh, more iron, but, you know, just have a lower drop rate than the uh, copper. Because uh, while iron isn't as common as copper, an iron golem farm is not super difficult to set up. I, I have this iron golem farm. I don't know if it's still working because a lot of things have in these add-on reviews have killed my villagers. So yeah, a bunch of them are there, so they're probably not going to be spawning. Yet. Oh no, they're still spawning. But yeah, it's, this isn't super difficult or expensive. It's just like some building blocks, some leaf blocks, which you can get with two iron ingots. And a lava bucket, which only requires three iron ingots, and a campfire. And this uh, produces a fair amount of iron. Uh, like, like, you, like, you've seen all the iron blocks I've got. Like, I've not cheated any of them in or anything, because this is a, just a copy of my survival world. Those are just like iron blocks that have been uh, collecting all, because I have like an auto crafter and all that. Yeah, at least you just like have some item filters over here to filter out the items and then send them into an auto crafter. And this produces a good amount of iron. So I don't, yeah, I think the iron one, the, I think the copper one can be changed to, uh, Raw copper and give you a fair, a good, good, a fair few like raw copper per harvest, like four, like four to eight maybe, uh, without fortune. Um, and then the iron one that can give you to like one to four i raw iron per harvest, because you still need to get like four iron blocks. That's a nine eighteen. Uh, 18, 27, 36 iron ingots. So that's already a fair amount of iron ingots invested. So I think it should 
Be like, oh, I have an actual nerf the crafting recipes to only use iron ingots and gold and copper ingots. And gold in Oh, no, nah, gold can stay the same because, like I said, it requires more uh, infrastructure to make uh, a gold farm than it does an iron and iron farm. And copper, you don't really need to make a farm because you find a bunch of it anyway. I don't have a soft line nugget, okay, so I'll just craft this into an ingot then. And then if it's uh, raw, and if it's raw iron, you still have to uh, cook it up. Where with the nuggets, while you may be getting less, you're still going to need to craft. All you need to do is like craft it up, which uh, isn't super difficult. Also, as this growing, why is this not growing? Am I missing something with these farm capsules? Oh, need just water from a bucket and seeds. So if I just uh, give myself give that p water. Shoot. So do I right click it with the water bucket? Yeah. There we go. So does the, the water, oh, so yeah, the water does seem to run out. Okay. So you have water meters. So give myself two more water buckets. Don't want to, so that's, I think that's going to take one more water bucket. So that takes three, so the first, yeah. So the first one takes uh, one, the second one, the gold one takes two, and the diamond one takes three water buckets. There we go, that's why it wasn't producing anything, because I just didn't put water in. Anyway, uh, where was I? Uh, I did was doing iron, wasn't I? So yeah, iron next up is a lapis, which is four blocks of lapis. One, two, three, four. And lapis, you plant it. You bone meal it. You bash it, and it gives you a lapis. And we'll put this gas here in here. And I'll put this ender pill away while I'm here. Oh. Would help if I didn't fall off. There we go. Coal can go in there. Blue stone dust can go in here. Do I have copper nuggets? Yeah, no I don't. Okay. The next up is ancient debris seeds, which is a four block of neverite. Yeah, no, that is way too expensive. It should be four neverite ingots. So let's, so let's, uh, let's let me put this into perspective for you. Each block of neverite is nine neverite ingots. Each neverite ingot. Hold on. Uh, beer. Beer. Each neverite ingot is four ancient debris and the four gold ingots. Now, times that by nine, that is, um, 36 nerve Asian debris, debris and the gold ingots times that by so that's uh, 34 times 4 that is 136 of both Asian to debris and the gold ingots that is just way too expensive. So 136. That's 
64 and so that's 60 that's 40 so that's a hundred And the, it was 36, wasn't it? Yeah, 136, so that's uh, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that's two stacks and eight ancient debris and gold ingots. That is just way too expensive. So yeah, that, that definitely need, especially using as it's just an ancient debris seed. Like you definitely need that recipe. Definitely needs to be uh, uh, bumped down to just. Uh, um, oh yeah, this won't work anymore because I got a bit blue. And I'll pin one of the views. Yeah, so that recipe definitely needs to be nerfed down to uh, just uh, for neverite ingots. Like seriously, that is just way too expensive. Uh, my inventory is filling up with seeds and random stuff. So I'm gonna cook all this up. Here, quick, and then I'll be right. Back. No, get you I'll be right back. And I'm back, and it's almost done cooking up all of the uh, Asian debris. I forgot that I only have three furnaces for some reason, even though I usually have four. There we go. Right, so now, so the recipe was this, if I believe correctly, if I remember correctly. Yep. So we have 34 Neverite ingots. And they craft into... Oh wow, did I... how did I miscalculate that? I was like two... I was two ingots off. That is annoying. So it's eight gold and eight... It was probably just like when I was splitting the stacks, maybe. Maybe I missed the call or something, I don't know. Yeah, but uh. Hold on, so yeah, so that. Hold on. So that's four blocks times nine ingots times eight for each Asian debris used. 288. So that's 288 gold ingots and the Asian debris. Also, has it, how many is so? This has found three diamonds, this has found five amethyst crystals. Gives you seeds as well.
Yeah, man. And there we go. So that's another ingot. And it gets right click instead of left click. There we go. 36 ingots to four blocks to one seed. Now, uh, oh, I don't have any boon meal. Right, so. Let's bone meal this up. This needs a boon. So, that one. That only gave me one scrap. That gave me one. No, Lily. Yeah, this is really bad. Because you're only getting one scrap per harvest. So, just to break even. Just to break even. On just the never race scraps themselves. You would have to mine. Two, you would have to harvest them. Two hundred and... 88 times just to break even on the no right scrap oh, scraps and you'd also have to harvest the gold nugget one enough times to that like, yeah no no De that needs to be uh needs to use four in never right ingots instead of four never right blocks that is just way too expensive seriously Uh, never quartz, it's just four never quartz blocks. Uh, that's bone blocks, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. To four blocks. To one seed. Uh, it's not a very unique seed. And you get four right back. That one only gave me a three. That one gave me three. So it looks like you're going to get about three to four from this. Yeah, but that's what it would appear to be. Anyway. And uh, never quartz. So we've got never star seeds, which is four never stars. So I have a couple here, but I'm going to need a few more. So let's just grab like three blocks of that. How much are these worth? So that's one to 32,000. Oh, yeah, there's the. Oh, yes, new in there. Everything that's gonna be in there. Make money. Got me four. Five. Yeah, these are super expensive. Anyway, we've got the Never Star Seeds. You plant them, you grow them. Oh, that's not very good for Never Star. And you get another star out of it. So, is it just one every time? Two, three. Four. Yeah, but it it's just one never star each time, which is fine. Because it's not, like, super expensive to get this. It's just four never stars. It's not like it's eight never stars. So that's not too bad. Uh, 
Uh, Prisma Mean Shards, which is four Prisma Mean Blocks, which I don't have, give... At P Pris... Prisma Mean Four. And we have Prisma Mean Shard. I mean, oh, does this have to be... I guess this has to be planted on water. If I get a water bucket, and I'll just put it there. Oh, it eh, doesn't matter about the redstone. So, oh. Is it not water? Let you place it on, hold on. Yeah, it's not placing on water, but it's also not placing on here. Okay, let's take the book. Uh, plant either on farmland, sand, water, mud, soul sand, or endstone. I'm going to try sand and mud. Yeah, oh, I should have sand in one of these somewhere. Just a matter of finding where. And huh. Do I not have sand in the news? Oh here it is, sand. I don't know why it's over here. Anyway, got a sand. So it's not sand? I don't have any more. So give that P mod. Not planting on mud either. So it won't plant on water, it won't plant on sand, it won't plant on mud. Soil. Soil sand or endstone. It's not going to be on endstone. If I'm just going to give myself some soil sand, because I don't know if I have any or where it would be. It's, it doesn't plant on anything. Does it need to be planted on regular farmland? Good damn it, they auto replant. Oh, I have a bunch of my inventory. Did they? Like, ah, right. Yeah. Oh god. Right, there. Remove the seeds from my inventory. Wait, those seeds. Right. Farm doesn't even plant on farmland. Okay, one last attempt at planting these. Teleporter forest. Right, there's a bunch of water here. So if they don't plant here, then I don't know where these are going to plant. They need to be on a fertilized soil underwater. No. Well, these just don't work then. Teleporter. Home. That's stupid. Anyway, don't know why that's not working. Could be just this world. Sometimes it is a bit buggy. I'll have to double check that in another world like after the uh, review is done. Redstone seeds, four redstone blocks. One, two, three, four. Get the redstone seeds. You plant them there. And you bone me the tarn up. And you get redstone dust and some and seeds. Pretty self explanatory. And you have slime ball seeds, it's four slime blocks. 
One, two, three, four. Slime ball. Plant them. Burn me all them up. Oh, they have little slime particles. Do the others have also have unique particles? I didn't notice so much they did. Yeah, you burn me all them up and you get slime balls. Yeah, you get like one or two slime balls. That looks a bit. And then there's soul sand seeds. Four soul sand round seeds. I'm guessing soul sand seeds grow on soul sand. Yep. You bury me it up and you get to block the soul sand. I don't know why you'd want to farm soul sand on soul sand, but I, it's a thing you can do, I guess. But yeah! That's the add on. That's everything. Now, I, yeah, some of these are just like too expensive and they just need like a bit of rebalancing, but it is a cool add on. And I, but I'd also like, like it if they like uh, redid the, made the, like how the plant, oh yeah, this had like ghost particles on it. Like all of the, all of them look like this, but just like slightly different for the most part. I would like it if they made them more unique and uh, more representative of the uh, crops that you are growing. Like instead of just like being generic berries, like they'd be like diamonds and uh, uh, eight, you know, scra neverite scraps and um, well, let's take a look at the amethyst shard one because we've not seen this one. This one could just be like amethyst shards, but it, yeah, it's just berries when it could it could look so cool as like a proper like amethyst plant. And it feels like they just like kind of, for the most part, kind of just like, got a bit lazy with the designs of the plants and just copied and pasted them over and over again and just changed the colour for most of them. There are, like I said, there are some that are unique, but even that, well, not even unique, there are some that are different to those ones, but I've I think they even then they're just like very little change between those ones. There's, ba there's basically just like two types that they just reused. And like I said, that's there's that a shame. I I think the crops should definitely be more representative of what they're growing, and I think they could look really cool. And you could probably come up with some really cool designs for crops that, like these. But yeah, other than that, not much to say about it. Um. So yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And bye-bye.